Play a game on your phone and there's a sports betting ad. Listen to a podcast and there is another one there. Open social media and you'll find celebrities talking about betting wins. Gambling has reached new levels worldwide and so has the threat it poses to global health. A new report is out. It says 450 million people have been harmed by gambling the world over. 450 million people. They've been harmed from the risk of financial ruin to family breakdown, increased risk of suicide, domestic violence, and loss of, loss of employment. Whether personally, professionally, physically, or mentally, 450 million people face some kind of negative consequence because of gambling. And out of this, at least 80 million people face severe consequences. They suffer from what's been called gambling disorder. This is a mental health condition. It involves compulsive gambling for the rare high from wins, denial that there is a problem, and the inability to call it quits. Gambling addiction is, is a lot like substance addiction. It is a vicious cycle. It is difficult to break, despite the losses, despite the guilt. And today, millions are going through this, both young and old. About 16% adults and 26% adolescents who gamble suffer from this disorder. This is a sign of our times. It has become easier than ever to slip into gambling addiction. The industry is expanding rapidly. You don't need a lottery ticket anymore. You can access a casino 24 hours a day thanks to that mobile phone in your pocket. And this is the result. Online casino and online sports betting are the most rapidly expanding areas of, for gambling globally. As the internet reach widens, so does the reach of the gambling industry which has an ace up its sleeve, marketing. Incisive and sophisticated marketing with a barrage of ads, gambling is a booming market. It is worth about $774 billion. It is expected to reach $1 trillion by 2030, mostly thanks to online gambling. It is expected to have about 300 million users by the end of this decade. So this is a difficult battle, especially for countries like India, where gambling is complex and controversial. India has varying laws in different states, most of which prohibit gambling, with some exceptions like lottery and horse racing. Goa, Daman and Sikkim allow casinos. Meanwhile, online gambling is a legal grey area. No national law prohibits it, but it is banned in Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. Despite the prohibitions, illegal gambling is reportedly widespread in the country. It is estimated to be a $60 billion market and its online market is said to have more than 12 million users. What about other nations? Japan, Qatar, Poland and several others ban gambling. In countries like the UK and Australia, gambling is legal. Meanwhile, some countries have had a change of heart. France, for instance, is thinking about legalizing online casinos. Last year, Brazil legalized them. And in 2018, the US overturned a ban on sports betting. Since then, most states have permitted gambling making the U.S. one of the biggest gambling markets in the world, worth about $67 billion. So this is the gist of it. Countries do not know how to deal with gambling. Some are betting on it for tax revenue and legalizing gambling. Others want to ban it. But their execution fails on the ground. Countries do not know what is right. But one thing is clear, legal or not, the world needs stronger regulation to curb the impact of commercial gambling. Else... We are gambling with public health. First Post decodes the U.S. election. Explains how America chooses its president. Your primer on the race to the White House. Everything you need to know about how America votes. And its global implications. U.S. election explained every Monday and Thursday only on First Post.